Everything is delicious. Send our compliments to cook. Yes. And tell Odette she better send me the recipe. She's our cousin. Well, she's so very talented. Everything is always superb. Isn't that right, Amos? Yes. Cook does her job quite well. How's Joel? Have you heard from him? Not in some time. He could be anywhere by now. I feel like each letter is from a different hemisphere. Tangier. Excuse me? Joel and Harry. That's where they are. Tangier. Harry writes us every week. That's wonderful. They're gonna see the pyramids next month. Can you even imagine? No, I cannot. And how's Corinne these days? Look what you got it done. No, no, no. It's not her fault. I received a letter today for Mr. Woodruff. Apparently, Christopher was deeply in debt when he passed. Can't say I'm surprised. The likes of him, I would surmise gambling. Corinne and her children are in dire straits, barely able to put food on the table. Well, that's nothing you can't fix. Olivia is not going to support that Jezebel. Sending money would be a betrayal of God's will. Corinne must suffer for her sins. You think it's God's will for one of his children to starve? Our Lord's will should not be questioned. It should be followed. And what about free will? It is precisely Corinne's free will that led her to moral and financial destitution. Even if that's the case, which I'm not saying it is, who are we to judge her choices? Faith is about forgiveness. To deserve forgiveness, one must first ask for it. Not that I should have to explain myself to you. Let Corinne reach the depths of her despair and be reminded of how much she needs you. This is how God will bring her back to you. You always said that you were her true mother. This is your chance to act like it. I've had quite enough of this. Olivia. She's your baby. You won't abandon her. Because I know you. I always said you got good inside. I've always believed religion is food for personal thought, not for the dinner table. 